Well, hey friends and neighbors, this is Chuck out at Sheraton Park Farms. Welcome back to the farm. So today we're hanging out with some of our favorite hams out here with the with our pasture pigs. So this is our big group of pigs. We moved these girls and guys, I think there's only one guy in here. We moved these pigs a couple days ago, uh, but today we're gonna move our piglets, our 17 piglets uh, that's in the training pen. We're gonna move them out on pasture. So we're gonna set up the electric. Um, we're gonna show opening up the, uh, opening up the paddock. We're gonna let them out talk a little bit about our gate placement again, and uh, we're gonna let them out on the pasture and see how they do. So uh, hang around with us for a little while and uh, let's move some piglets out on pasture. Spot. Okay, so a couple weeks ago, we brought these piglets um, up and put them in the training pen. And if you saw the video, and if not, I'll post a link to it up above right now. Um, we had weaned these piglets off into our uh, weaning pen they were in there for a couple days and then we moved them up here where we castrated the males and we put them in in this training pen and again this is uh, there's three three of the 16 foot pig panels on the sides two on the ends um, to make up the the entire size of the training pen and then we've got a single uh, strand of electric running on the inside uh, to train them on the electric they've also got feed and water so the plan today is we're going to open up one end of the training pen and we're going to build them a paddock out into the field and take up uh, some areas down here that's got some tree cover so they've got shade. So let's walk the camera over here. I'll show you the area where we're going to be setting this up and then we're going to put in our wire, uh, move feed water. We'll open them up and we'll uh, let them out into the, into the pasture and see how they do without the uh, benefit of the hog panels. So again, this is the training pen, and here is the, this is the back wall, uh, what we're calling the back wall of the training pen. And you can see we've got the single strand of electric. We're going to open this up. Uh, we're going to take the uh, electric line down here, and we're going to take the panels down, or we're at least going to slide one of the panels to the side uh, and let them out. And they're going to come out into this area here. And we're going to set up some posts, pull some of the, uh, of the poly wire, and set them up a nice, uh, a nice paddock here. So they'll have a lot of open grass area, and because it's middle June, getting towards the end of June, gonna be July, we wanna give them some shade. So we're gonna move them, uh, or we're gonna include this group of trees right here. We'll just go on the other side of it, and uh, they'll be able to get under the trees and have plenty of shade and that kind of thing. Now, this is gonna open up back here by sliding these, uh, sliding one of the hog panels to the side, and then we're gonna put it back. We're not, gonna, we're not gonna run a strand of electric back here. We're gonna let those hog panels, we're gonna leave them in place and let that be, let that be the wall back there. So that'll be their, their security on that side. But down here, under the trees, um, again, we're thinking about where do we go next? That's what you gotta think about when you're moving pigs. Not just where they're going now, but where they're going next. So they're going in here now, but where do they go next? And next time, we're gonna go back towards where the sheep are. Of course, the sheep will be gone by then uh, to a different place. But uh, we're gonna go back towards the woods and we'll be setting up a gate somewhere in here uh, in the tree line, just past the tree line, wherever we kind of end up pulling the wire to. And that will, uh, that will give them their open spot with that physical barrier, not the psychological barrier, but the physical barrier. That will give them the spot where they're gonna go through next. And then over here on the other side of the field, it's hard to see from here, the other side of those chicken tractors right there, we've got the other set of pigs over there. So the plan is on the next moves, we're gonna bring those pigs down this way farther and we'll take the guys we're moving here today from this area here we're going to push them towards the bottom of the field and bring everybody together that way we're going to join up the two groups of pigs we're going to join all them up together so we'll have to figure that out a little bit whenever we get to that place when we get to that point um, but right now we're going to have both groups of pigs pointed in the right direction towards this the lower part of this field here and we'll bring everybody into it so kind of the outline of the plan uh, we're going to get to work driving some posts 
pulled some wire, set in the gate, moved and feed and water, and we'll get these piglets out of that training pen, and we're going to find out the hard way. Did the training work or not? So stick around and let's see. Yeah, tell us all about it. So y'all remember Angel, our livestock guardian dog. She's nine weeks, 10 weeks. She's about 10 weeks old. So she's out here with the, with her people, with her sheep, and uh, doing a good job. Coyote killer right there now. Yeah, you tell them. Okay, corner posts and where we think we're gonna have a little bit of pressure on the line are set. Got a green post here, got one over here. We have two along that line, one down there in the corner, other side of the trees, can't hardly see it. Got another one down here on the other side of the trees, can't hardly see it. Still have to put one more there because we're gonna set the gate there and then we got one in the center of the field right here. So. Not a super big area, but they're still pretty small. There are 17 of them because there's two over in with the big pigs. So this should last them for a little while. Um, we're not gonna leave them here long. Um, they need to be moving along pretty quick. So I want them to eat a little bit of the grass, stir it up just a little bit. There's still some of this space here where we had some mulching done last year. Really hope they get in here and work this. So we'll give them an opportunity for that. And uh, let them fluff this ground up a little bit, then we'll keep on moving. Real quick, we'd been using these uh, white plastic step-in posts for inline support for a couple of years. Um, and they're cheap and they, they work pretty good, but over time they just get real brittle and they break easy and they just kind of ends up being a little bit of a waste of money, I think. So we've bought, I don't know, about a hundred of these. These are just these metal um, rebar posts. They've got the little spade on here. Don't recommend stepping on that because that thing bends pretty easy. And then we use these little, uh, just slip on insulators. Um, this is about the, uh, this will be the third or fourth application that we've used these on. I really like them. So I'll, uh, I'll post a link to them in the description down below. Uh, we picked these up at Tractor Supply. I think you probably get them on Amazon, but I'll, I'll post a link down below. Um, work great. Um, they don't bend easy. Um, easy to put in the ground. We just use a hammer, a couple taps, and there it goes. So we'll uh, we'll show you using these. Down, maybe just a hair. Yeah. For those of you that may be new to what we're doing here, so we start, we, we take a reel of just poly wire, I think this is Gallagher, and we attach it to the bottom of our corner post. We run it all the way down to the end where the gate's going to be, come back up the end post and then bring it back up this side to here and we're going to do the same thing on the other side of the paddock that way you can have a gate in the center and again we'll use a jumper wire down at the bottom we'll show you that here in a little bit but we use a jumper wire to get around the gate so that's how we that's how we set our fences up okay so we've got two different strands of wire going uh, this side is one single strand that comes around to our gate and then on this side we've got another 
single strand it's ran on a double but both sides is one one continuous piece of wire so we're going to put the spark on this one over here which would mean that this one over here doesn't have a spark so here's where our jumper comes into play and again this is a it's an old um, extension cord that we cut uh, just cut a length of peel back a couple of wires the trick is you want to make sure that you're using the same color wire on both ends and we connect one of these conductive gate handles on each end. So, for example, on this end, we've got the conductive gate handle tied to the black wire. On this end, we've got the conductive gate handle tied to the black wire. So, um, the ends are, are using the same wire. So, we're just going to come over here on this side. I'm going to hook in there. We'll bring this jumper over here on this side. And we'll hook in here. And now, we've got power going all the way across uh, around our gate and so that's how we get over uh, having a gate in the center of our or in the middle of our paddock somewhere okay so we've got our energizer um, set up we've checked the fence we're a little better than 5,000 all the way around 5,000 volts all the way around for these piglets that'll be fine um, do need to go back along some of the fence and just do a little bit of string trim with the weed eater and we'll get that cleaned up uh, that'll help shouldn't be losing a lot with grounding but maybe maybe losing a little bit so we'll go back and um, adjust on that a little bit make sure that it's nice and clear so we're gonna take down this first panel right here I think slide it over to the side and then we're just gonna leave it open for a little while and let them wander over, check it out, uh, kind of see about it on their own, figure out what they want to do. So uh, we're going to take this panel down. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Is it the tree or the limbs at the bottom? The limbs at the bottom. Messing you up here. We shall see how that is. So herein is the problem with just using straight wire and no physical barrier. See the wire's gone and now even here what was their physical barriers gone? But they won't, nobody's interested in crossing it. Nobody's interested in getting close to it. So over time, they'll build up a little bit of a, a little bit of courage and one of them will go across and then another one will build up a little bit of courage and go across. And I mean, they'll, they'll eventually go, but this is a, 
becomes a little bit of a waiting game on getting them across. They don't they don't just jump over. I mean, you know, these piglets don't think they're an Alcatraz looking for a way to escape. Um, just the end of their world. So here we got a couple that are testing the waters. Alright, now we got two out. Come on. Two and maybe a quarter. There you go. Come on, Piglet. couple guys here that are really venturing out now. I think so. They've been in here what, about an hour? Yeah. And got it figured out. Fence top. <clears throat> turns around and walks away from it. So that's the process that we use to move our piglets out of the training pen, out on the pasture. Um, they've been out here now for a couple hours. Um, we've watched them. Uh, they'll get within about six or eight inches of the, of the fence and they turn away from it. They really don't, they don't mess with it too awful much. Had one just touch the fence there a second ago 
and uh, he turned around and, and bounced off of it pretty quick and, and went the other way. So looks like the piglets are trained pretty well on the electric. Uh, we're going to move their feed and water down here. Uh, we'll probably do that tomorrow. We've left um, the, the training pen open so they can still get back up to their feed and water where it was at. Uh, we're going to move that down here. We'll close it off, uh, make sure they've got all the creature comforts of home uh, for their uh, for their paddock and what they got going on. So, um, all right, so I think that's going to do it. I'm going to post a link to a couple of videos here that we got going on. That subscribe button is going to pop up right there in the center of the, of the screen. If you've not subscribed, uh, please do so. Follow along with us. We got a lot of stuff going on. We got pigs and chickens and turkeys and sheep and a garden and tractors and land clearing and just all kinds of things happening around here. So. Um, follow along with us and uh, keep checking on what we got going on. Appreciate y'all watching. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks.